Heartland for Children, the lead community-based care agency serving Polk Highlands and Hardy Counties in Central Florida. And they have a new program to develop an online platform that is providing local counties with a comprehensive online directory of local resources that will help strengthen families. We will introduce you to Aunt Bertha coming up on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Lauren Lingell. In studio with me today, we have Kathy Southern, Director of Education and Community Relations at Heartland for Children. And we have Shannon Gillespie, Senior Manager of Social Work Services for Polk County Schools. Ladies, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Thank you. I know we have kind of a fun topic yeah. mm -hmm. to discuss today. <laughs> you know, as we were kind of joking about it before. but. Um, Aunt Bertha, where did that come from? Well, we, as, far, as far as the name goes, where did that come from? <laughs> well, Heartland for Children is the private nonprofit that is um, oversees the child welfare system here locally. And part of making sure that we're successful, we want to make sure that we strengthen families. We know that there's a lot of families in our community that are in need. And so we went looking for um, a solution to helping to get um, resources to to those families quickly easily case managers um, department of children families protective investigators who are out in the field having something easily accessible where they could I, find resources and get that to the families and so we um, identified aunt bertha and they're out of texas and um, we have been partnering with them to bring a local web-based um, platform to our community so that we can connect families and professionals with those resources so that we can get the help where it's needed. So we've got an Angie's List and a Craigslist, but now we've got even a more helpful Aunt Bertha. Aunt Bertha, <laughs> yes. Aunt Bertha is here and, and she's ready to help. Fantastic. So she has, um, so Aunt, Aunt Bertha is a web-based web -based resource yes. network for connecting, um, I guess, many of many of the counties that you're you're working with mm -hmm. to provide the service to mm -hmm. um, with local resources to help them with whatever they need what are some of the the types of resources you can find on it well Aunt one Bertha. of the things that we know um, searching you can search by zip code and it will pull up all of the resources that are listed for that particular zip code and uh, seekers or searchers can do that anonymously and that's really important that they understand that that that's done anonymously but the terms we're able to sort of trend those so that it gives us a good idea as to what the needs are in the community and so we know now that some of the top things that folks are searching for in our community is housing um, food you know goods and and services financial assistance so you know where where in our community to do these social service agencies and and um, organizations exist to get that help and so those are some of the top needs that they're searching for um, also um, looking for uh, workplace assistance you know if someone's out of a job and they want to find a program that will help them work to get back in the workplace so there's lots of different um, resources that they can um, identify through through the Aunt Bertha site and that's at heartland.ambertha.com so heartland.ambertha.com mm -hmm. and that and there's I did hear you correctly that that can't be traced. It's sort of an anonymous search. You can you so. can do that. Yep. You just put in the zip code, and so we, the, all all we're looking at is to identify where those needs are in the community. So if you do search by a zip code, we would know. Wow, that might be a bigger need in, in one specific zip code as opposed to another, or maybe there's not resources there to be able to meet the need. So we just use it for purposes of making sure that we communicate to our local leaders as to where those needs might exist. So is this really is let me make sure I understand this correctly. Sure. So is it more of a, um, a search filter so you can identify what people are searching for or is it actually a network of resources? No, that is just kind of sort of a side benefit. Okay. It's actually a network. The, the main purpose um, and why we partner with Aunt Bertha here locally is to connect families and communities to existing resources to make that search easy. So if someone falls on hard times and they don't know where to begin, this is a great sort of easy, uh, easily accessible, safe place to go and look at where those resources may um, 
actually be in the community. Each resource has its own identified page, which will give them addresses, location, hours, what services they provide, uh, map on how to get there, and lots of different ways you can connect directly to that program or service. So it, it actually assists really well in connecting people to those resources. So are these, um, I guess, the links or whatever search result results they find, are they linking to, um, you know, like the United Way's website or like Peace River Center's website, or are they, um, or is this a program where they only have information in this particular system with people who have input their information? Well, actually, there is, um, it's a combination of a lot of different okay. things. What's really wonderful about Aunt Bertha is there was a lot of upfront work that we did with the Aunt Bertha folks, um, and we populated it with some initial data that we had for the communities we serve. They continue to do that, and there continues to be a way for programs to be added. It's very easy. There's a link at the bottom of the page, add program. Someone can submit that information, and it gets added in. So there's a constant um, update of that and adding of information as we um, are made available aware of it excuse me and so there's another function that they commit to actually touching each resource every six months so we know that when we're in there those are pretty up-to-date and that's pretty up-to-date information on the services that are in there but yes it is local resources cool. yeah no I, I <laughs> uh -huh. as having a background in um, so many nonprofits and, and social service programs I'm just I'm a little fascinated yes. Um, so Shannon, you're here because you actually have some experience with Aunt Bertha. Yes, firsthand. so uh, part of my experience is been with our social workers and util utilizing this in a way that is not only beneficial to our social workers, but also beneficial to our clients. And one of the things that I think I'm most excited about is giving back to our families in an autonomous way. We are giving back to them and showing them through some of the different flyers and things that Heartland has provided with us mm -hmm. for us and so we are giving them these tools we're giving them little cards and different flyers and so they now can utilize this resource so they're taking it our social workers are taking it and passing them out in the community to our families who we're working with and then we are giving them that autonomy to now say I can look up these resources on my own and these families can search their zip code and they can they can find these themselves and sometimes make the phone calls themselves. Our social workers also love it because they can find out these resources that maybe wasn't on a list that they had or new and upcoming resources. So it's it's almost to the point where they're finding resources that maybe they didn't know or their coworker didn't know and they're not having to do this whole phone tree thing that has been done in the past. And so it's it's really a cool tool. It really sounds like a lot of wonderful things can come out of this. I mean, especially if you're linking with county services and then you know the two on one and and that whole network. It really seems like mm -hmm. you can connect a lot of things and bridge some gaps. Um, so uh, have you played around with it yourself? Yes, I have, and it's <laughs> extremely user friendly and it's also user friendly for your phone it has a mobile version okay. and so you're able to select all these different categories and then you're also able to go in and if a resource is wrong you can actually as the user make that comment or give positive or negative feedback on what is happening with that service so it allows even the social worker to say maybe this phone number was wrong or maybe to update some information that maybe they found out that they have baby items there and it doesn't state that on there. So it, it gives that social worker also some extra benefits that they get to let other social workers know who might be looking into that service if it was helpful or not. Um, so I'm just going to throw this out there. So do you, do you guys have sort of like a plan that you're sort of working how you can uh, get knowledge of Aunt Bertha out into the community. Obviously, the schools was a brilliant plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we worked closely. Um, it, we we initially work, began work with Aunt Bertha f to meet some internal needs within our system of care for within child welfare. But 
it's a resource that we quickly realized was something that many other folks in the community found a benefit to. So we really um, are, are sort of just starting with, with you all and our, and our existing relationships and getting the word out to make sure that our community knows it as a resource and one that, and didn't mention earlier, but you using Google Translate, the whole f functionality can be translated into any language. And so um, that's another really wonderful benefit to, um, to the resource. Is this something where um, some resources can be shared uh, through social media and things like that? Say if you find an entry that's mm -hmm. super helpful. Well, we, we haven't gone into into planning for a specific entry to you know share. Certainly, a lot of our mm -hmm. um, our, our sharing of information about Aunt Bertha as a resource is is going to be more in general terms because we want everybody to understand its its um, the depths and. Um, capacity of programs that are in there so you know if you do one I did you know I was in there this morning looking around and you know you put in your zip code and you can pull up hundreds of programs under one particular category mm -hmm. and so you know we don't want to highlight you know specific programs necessarily but really Aunt Bertha as a whole as a resource for um, folks who may f fall in times where they need some help they need it they need a hand you know a hand to help absolutely I mean I, I think that's one of the things that very few people realize is that people that you may think are affluent or um, really well-to-do may be a couple of paychecks away from really needing to rely on mm -hmm. either um, like some sort of faith-based service mm -hmm. that's free or other free community services mm -hmm. um, so I really I, I applaud this um, Aunt Bertha thing this is seems like a really great idea and I really can't wait to share it with other people because it's gonna do a lot of good mm -hmm. Um, you mentioned earlier that there were certain um, search topics that stood out. Mm -hmm. So does um, Aunt Bertha have other things outside of that or is that just something that you really want to make sure you populate really well so people can find um, the, the resources they need in those areas? Well some of the things we want to be able to do with that information is as I mentioned share with our local leaders. We also work closely with lots of other community partners on a local task force and um, for Polk County that group meets monthly and we look at that data and we want to identify where are there gaps and needs. You know if we have individuals searching for housing and you know assistance in a certain area and, there, and something's not coming up we want to be able to address that and so we would look at ways to identify you know food banks maybe there's plenty of food banks in a certain area but mm, only two are open on Sunday so we want to use that information to be able to help strengthen the network of resources for community Members. So this is really a limitless tool. <laughs> like it, it could even influence planning yes. for, for uh, we're hope, we're, We hope that's, so. Yeah, <laughs> that's outstanding. Um, I may be late to the party on that one, but <laughs> okay. I got there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so on a, a lighthearted note, mm -hmm. tell me where the name Aunt Bertha came from. <laughs> Well, Aunt Bertha was actually founded by um, Aaron Gray, and, and he found it based on some need. His, his mother fell ill, and the process of him, for himself and his family navigating to find available resources to assist them was very, I want to say convoluted, it was very difficult. And so um, he came up with this idea, and then actually, um, the, when, you, when you research a little bit more about the company, you realize that Aunt Bertha came along as not the intended name in the beginning, but it was this concept of Aunt Bertha is going to take over where Uncle Sam left off. And so that's sort of how the name came about and they really feel like Aunt Bertha represents anyone's aunt, you know, someone that you would trust to go to if you had an issue or concern or needed help, um, someone that, you know, would, would guide you and lead you to where you needed to be. So sort of a dual purpose that um, has been shared with us, but the folks out in um, Austin with Aunt Bertha have been fabulous working with us here locally and, and they're continuing to help us improve it as a resource for us. Well, I certainly wish you luck on that. That it sounds like a fabulous program, and I, I hope that um, as many of your families in, in the school system really do utilize this program and, and find what they need. Um, so thank you both for being here. I really appreciate you. Um, for the opportunity. Your time. Yes, yeah. thank you. Heartland for Children has partnered with Aunt Bertha to develop an online platform that is providing local counties with a comprehensive online directory of local resources that will help strengthen families. A search can be conducted by zip code to locate resources near you. Find food, health, housing, employment programs, and other community resources in seconds. 
All programs included are either free or reduced cost services. Each resource program listing includes information about the services provided, the location and hours of, of service, a linked map to each location. For more information about Aunt Bertha, you can give them a call at 863-519-8900, or you can look them up on the web at www.heartland.antbertha.com.